gentlemen, boys, and girls, welcome to. Is this the Swedish hog tying thing I keep hearing about? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, this is the Swedish thing. Why Swedish specifically? Uh, they are all Swedish tracks that we are racing, so that's the Swedish part. And the hog tie thing, that apparently means festival in Swedish. I mean, it could mean the same thing everywhere else, depends on what you're into. So it's basically the Swedish GT4 festival. Yeah, boy. Oh no, that's a different language. Indeed. So we got the GT4 cars here, the Porsches versus the Lotuses versus the KTMs, and it is Lotus rating supreme, uh, because they have Mike Stoffa. Is Ariel, Ariel Zatoni's in the race? He's not driving a Lotus. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Driving a KTM. Never going to get to sing that song. I mean, you could anyway. I could, but I won't. Fair enough. To hear Byron sing, Ariel, you must drive the Lotus. La. I'd have to actually learn the words first. I'd have, it's been a while since I heard that. If anybody's wondering, there's a song called Ariel vs. Lotus mm -hmm. by a band called Limb Lifter. The other car that we need to get Ariel into, unfortunately not in the game, is the Ariel Atom, of course. Correct. Ariel in Oh, Ariel. he just went fourth quickest. So that was a pretty good lap there from Ariel. Up into top KTM roll. This is Azar Adamore, our local Currently speed. qualifying in the top 50. Yeah, currently in third. Doing real good in that Porsche. So there is the grid pending a, pending any last minute uh, stuff. Mike Stop, Mill, Travis Wallace, Azar, Alamore, Ariel Zatoni, Sean Kinney, Yevgeny Lazarenko, Richard Droche, Jesse Hampton, Shannon Flynn, who is a new face to me, Tino Konetsky, James Butler, Andy Blade, Javier Perez Torres, Michael Magus, and John Picha. I'm going to be honest, it's going to be really hard for me not to just go, Kevin Flynn! Like all the time. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm down with it. I'm fine with it. Correct. Actually, from the top, that Lotus looks really, really nice. Your low tie. Mm -hmm. And your cat apparently agrees with me, so there you go. Yeah, well, it's like not noon, so she thinks it's food time. Uh, these rounds are generally double race, but we had some uh, problems with the server. And by problems, I mean every car disappeared in the first nice. race. So that got canceled. And this is the second race. So, hopefully we don't uh, see those same problems this time around. Uh, spoiler Wait. alert, we don't, because the recording, you know, is being put up on YouTube. Correct. Uh, we are waiting on Azar Adamora, right? There he is. And uh, we are ready to get rolling. Hey, pretty nice uh, camera view, actually, looking down at the, the pulsar front like this. I didn't like it. Redo it. And they are off. There they are, heading towards the first turn. This is the track... I don't even... This Is this Carl Skoga? This might be Carl Skoga. I don't remember. And Ariel Zatoni's gotten off to a great start. He's taken over the lead there from Mike Stopmill. Azar Alamore getting a little fishy there. Maybe a little bit of contact with uh, Sean Kenny in the Lotus-colored Lotus from Lotus Driving Academy, who is in fourth position ahead of Yevgeny Lazarenko and Richard DeRoche. Stop if he's second. in the Lotus Driving Academy, does that make him a newbie? Um, that's a good point. Actually, that, that's uh, Travis Wallace who's gotten the lead, not, not Ariel. Pardon. My mistake. Ariel's actually back down at the back, so something terrible has happened to our boy, Ariel Zatoni. I was going to say, can't you read none, boy? Yeah, Mike Stopmill going down the inside, takes over. This is a very, very short lap, and uh, it's pretty interesting, not going to lie. A lot of the Swedish tracks have a lot of intriguing character to them, I will say that. Uh, you are on board with my teammate, Travis Wallace, in second position here ahead of Azar Alamore and behind. Mike we Stop like Hampton. Travis. Travis fleshy. Yes, yes. Anger God, all the way. By the way, Travis, you, we need to introduce you to our, our buddy Mental Liptus. He has, he, has he has a whole thing about how to not destroy your good hardware, and it's, it's fantastic. I think, you, I think you could benefit from it a lot. Correct. If you don't mind having a pile of really cheaply made Chinese keyboards. <laughs> Buy them by the crate. <laughs> Did I tell you Mental says his high all time was 17 keyboards destroyed in one day? No, he didn't say that. That's some serious, well, that's some serious anger issue. Not, not terribly surprised at all. So, so 
and Travis Wall still in second place. Of course, these cars are not the greatest BOP wise because you've got the Lotus and then you've got the Porsche. And they handle very, very differently. Oh, Mike Stop Bill is off. Stop Bill is off. Oh there is hope. There is hope for a winner that's not no, from it's in the race. Oh, Holland. Nice big glitch. Nice big glitch. Just reset my uh, video. There you go. Travis Wallace to the lead. It is a Porsche 1-2 with Azar Adamore in second, followed by the Lotuses of Sean Kenny, Evgeny Lazarenko, and your top KTM at the moment is Richard DeRoche in fifth position. Richard, oh, fuck, it just happened again. Yeah, apparently I just can't watch this video. Ah, uh, that's, that's disturbing. I am at seven, 17 minutes, 12 seconds, 11 seconds, 10, 9. Dude, we started around 17 minutes. No, no, well, remaining in the race. I should give you the time stamp. Uh, 2317. 2320. If you get into, like, the 23.5 range, you're good. Let me... Tell me when you're at 23.38. Okay. That will be in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, go! Awesome. Now I'm only two seconds behind again. There we go. We, we are approximately synced up. Will, this thing will just not buffer at all. I don't know what the hell. Uh, uh, great, great. Oh! Mike Stoppel is charging back through the grid and threw on Yevgeny Lazarenko into fourth position. You can't stop the stop mill. He will come for you. I told you. I told you say it's too early in the race for him to have made a mistake and still not win. <laughs> I don't know. These are only 20-minute races, so there's not a lot of time. And there's not a tremendously large number of overtaking spots here, but, I mean, he is back and forth, so we'll see. Andy Blade in 10th place. That's that's much higher than his customary 13th. Correct. Well, I mean, there aren't quite 13 cars in this whole field, so it would be it's very true. It's true. It's a relatively small field of 15 cars, and uh, largely it's a, it's a selection of pretty damn solid drivers. I mean... We only have one guy who's in the, uh, two guys who are in the lower class academy, so not too many. No, oh, no, three. I keep forgetting James Butler is lower academy, although he definitely has a lot of bit. Mike Stoppel's off again! Oh my god. He spins it, and that's going to let at least Richard Roche through. Hampton's through. Flynn is through. Butler's through. Blade has passed Mike Stoppel. He is now the blue cyclone. And Mike Stoffmill has returned in 10th in, uh, place, and he is already on the attack against Andy Blade. Andy, you're going down. Sorry, it's nothing... Uh, Andy Blade in a very Canadian flag-esque car there, actually. That's too fair. Black and white. Or not white. Red and white, pardon me, with black on the back. I mean, the black doesn't really work, but hey, you know what? Hockey Canada uses black in the uniforms. I'm, I'm fine with it. It's a, they call the national car. All right, to recap after the spin, Travis Wallace leading from Azar Alamore. Oh, and Ariel Zatoni's having problems again. Things are not growing great for Ariel Zatoni in the KTM. He is indeed not growing grapes. He was attacking Mike Magus there, and it did not go well for him. So top five, Wallace leads from Alamore, Kenny, Lazarenko, and DeRoche. Then you got Hampton, Flynn, Butler, Stavnil up to ninth, Blade in tenth. That is indeed a row of numbers. And people's names. Grotesque, I don't like And, it. and it objects. Is. And locations so in some cases. referring to them as serial numbers only. Serial numbers. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know if anyone would really remember that. That's what makes it so much entertaining. The, you know, you got a point there. You got a point there. Sean Kenny in third place. Uh, looking to try to break up the Porsche 1 2 as he moves closer to the. Porsche of Azar Elmar. Azar doing really well for a guy who's uh, in the past been not necessarily a sharp end kind of guy. Um, doing real well here, the eel. When a moon hits your eye like a fist from the sky, that's Amore. That is Amore. Of a, of a sword, I suppose. <laughs> Sounds like you should have done like me and got some coke to mix with your booze. Mmm. Now, see, it was my second last day at work today, so they took me to Montana's for lunch. 
Ooh, very nice. And had the ribbon wing combo plus some anahitos. Ooh. So I'm very full of food right now and very tired. I, uh, I myself went to Costco for lunch and had pizza and poutine because I cannot be stopped and I feel no pain. But I did have a nap. I feel like you might have felt a, a tiny bit pain. I mean, right at the end there, I was like, oh, this was a bad idea and I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Uh, James Butler is under pressure from Mike Stockman on the background here, and it is uh, Shannon Flynn on the attack against uh, Jesse Hampton. Uh, Jesse Hampton not in a Porsche. That's quite surprising to me. He's usually he's usually the Porsche lover. He is the old man. And it looks like Butler might have had an off because he's lost a spot not just to Stockmill but also to Andy Blade. So gross problems for James Butler here. And he has dropped down to 10th position, which is still a pretty respectable run. But he would probably like to be aiming for better. Well, I mean, if Andy passed you, you could totally do better. That's true. He is very short. <laughs> That's true. How tall was he anyways? You, you've met him now. So oh, you, God, you, you can barely even, him. like, 5'9". He's a total midget. Oh, total midget. Holy shit. He's even shorter than me. What? A grotesque human being. Hey, Andy, what's going on? <laughs> what's up, Andy? Banned from Discord. <laughs> uh, looks like we've lost Ariel Zatoni from the race as he is down a lap to myself and no. uh, Javier Perez Torres, which, no disrespect to our skills, but uh, we don't generally lap Ariel Zatoni. Just, <laughs> just throwing that out there. Uh -huh. And uh, we ride with Yevgeny Lazarenko, who, along with Sean Kenny, are reeling in as our Alamore, the second place Porsche. Uh, Richard Deroche doing it a little bit too. The uh, KTMs, like the one that Deroche in the green and black are driving, are very, very limited in a straight line. And it's a bit of a problem for them. Uh, but they handle exceptionally well. Wallace, watch! That motherfucker's trying to stretch out a five and a half second lead. Mm hmm. And I imagine the fact that Alamore is now under pressure is going to make that increase even more because Alamore's got to think about defending. Under pressure. Under pressure. So, we could have an interesting showdown here for a second. And of course, uh, you know what? We still can't rule out Stop Bill, who is, uh, you know, he's up to eighth place. He's. Um. He's not really even catching Shannon Flynn, though. So, okay. well, I just, as I say that, he just takes about three tenths out of Shannon Flynn. So. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> Maybe mistaken. But he's, he's not rapidly closing the gap to Shannon Flint, so that makes me think that we we might not see him make a move for a little bit. He's about three seconds behind at this time. Sean Kenny needs to find himself a way around the Porsche of Azar Alamore, because, of course, with Stop Mill back there in eighth place... Anyone else who's in that kind of championship conversation really needs to maximize these results. And needs to push pretty hard to get up there. I'm very mixed on the Lotus here, Byron. What are your thoughts? Do you like the look of this Lotus car? Or... What, Sean Kenny's in particular? Uh, yeah, well, I meant just the car in general, but yeah, Sean Kenny is driving a Lotus. Sean Kenny is driving the only Lotus that ever should be driven. Mm. If you're driving a Lotus that isn't black and then something, you've done it all wrong. Fair enough, fair enough. Saying Yevgeny has done it wrong, then? Correct. Oh, Azar went off a little bit, and he is under the pressure. Here comes the Lotus of Sean Kenny. Can Kenny get the job done? He's on the outside, and he is through! Hello. And it has opened the door for Yevgeny Lazarenko to go on the attack as well, so good luck for the Lotuses here with time. Yeah, well, we still have about a half a race to go, so I, I wouldn't say time running down particularly, but uh, they've just bumped up into second and third place. Doing a good job. Still. Bad time for Azar Alamore, who has not only lost second place, but dropped off the podium altogether. You picked a fine time to pass me, Lucy. <laughs> uh, Richard DeRoche will be the next to see if maybe he has a crack at uh, Azar Alamore there. <laughs> I've decided our uh, new and exciting uh, racing partner here in seventh place shall be known as Shannon the Shark Flynn. Shannon the Shark Flynn. It's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Like it. It's, good. it's a Finn joke. Don't tell me. I know. Anybody. It's like you got an. It's like you've got a, a one of those speech in, in, in predicaments, but you can't say Finn pretty good. Mm, indeed, indeed. Also, sounds a little intimidating. 
I mean, there's also various Jerry Lynn or Johnny Flynn jokes we could throw in. Yeah, but nobody's going to get the Jerry Lynn jokes except you and I. Even Travis hasn't come that far in history legit. Uh, there's got to be someone else in our audience that knows who Jerry Lynn is. Shout out in the comments somewhere. Sound off like you got a pair. Jerry Lynn is, that, you know, and, and, and or if you can supply his ECW nickname without using Google. Thank you very much. Uh, speaking of Shannon Flynn, he has just lost seventh place to Mike Stoppel. He or she, I, don't, yeah, I, I, that was I do happen. not know. But uh, yeah, Miss Stop Mill's up there now. Next on the Stop Mill watch, uh, Jesse Hampton, his uh, F3 teammate. Hamptown races sing this song. Oh, by the way, anybody involved with the uh, the Mini Cooper races for the ACC, you're welcome, and you'll know why later. I've been contacted by one uh, reverse coyote, and uh, we've been scheming and plotting, and I've been giving him ideas, and it's it's coming out nice. Oh, that's good. That's good. You might want to look into it. I'm just saying. I know you, that you hate tiny we are, things. We are actually uh, pondering one of your more administrative ideas, actually, for Discord. So, oh, yeah. that's good. I think it's a good idea. I know exactly which one you're talking about, because it's the only one I've made in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so I six, think it did uh, remove some butthurtness. About uh, a little over six and a half minutes here to go. Mike Stoppmill's in seventh place. Let me try and work out how far behind that is from uh, from our boy Travis Wallace. Uh, the answer to that question is about 13 seconds. You think you can do it? Uh, yes, but provided that there are mishaps and shenanigans. Ah, so there's a couple of caveats. A couple, couple, couple of shenanigans, and then probably. However, Wallace watched that motherfucker's trying to stretch out a six and a half second lead. So maybe not. Mm -hmm. He is on it. Travis was actually really not liking his chances in this race, but it's uh, it's come pretty well, good for him. I mean, I wouldn't like his chances either because he's, you know, angry. <laughs> angry all the time. <laughs> he is the redneck Sith, and the anger flows through him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, who was it the other day? There was someone who was making a force joke and talking about... Um, I don't know, driving on, like, the dark side of the force or whatever, and like, no, that's Frederico Spanker. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Mike Stop Mill up at his sixth place. Stop Mill watch. He has gotten through on Jesse Hamptown races. Correct. Not a good day to be a KTM, by the looks of it, to be honest. Uh, Ariel's a turn. We've lost someone else. I think we may have lost uh, Javier Perez Torres. I don't uh, see uh, his You name. would be correct, yeah. I yeah. didn't notice. Sorry, Javi. I didn't notice you were in the race. I, yeah. I wasn't paying attention because I was mixing a drink when he was reading off names. Yeah, we're down to 14, well, 13 cars because we're pretty sure Zatoni, who is now seven laps down, is indeed out of the race. Uh, but we have lost Javi P and Ariel Zatoni. <laughs> James Butler cursed the purgatory because he's driving the ugliest livery in the world. Um, there's uglier. There's uglier. Prove it. I I can provide you with several options. I guarantee you, if you supply me with five, two of them will actually be good. Uh, well, we'll you see just have, it's not my fault that you're quasi colorblind. Uh, it's not colors that are my problem. I just have no eye for style. You just have no, you know, I don't understand physical shapes and objects and 3D space. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I have no special word. Seven and a half seconds, God damn it, Travis. Yeah, please don't hurt him, Travis. Evgeny's uh, racing team brings up a valid question. Valid question, is he racing? <laughs> uh, I would say he definitely is in this case. He's putting the pressure on Sean Kenny. We got Alzar Alamori on could be. Azar seems to be doing pretty well after losing the second place, though. He seems to have stabilized, and I, I honestly thought Richard DeRoche was going to have a crack at him, but uh, it's looking increasingly unlikely uh, that that is actually going to be the case uh, before the end of this race. And, uh, of course, Richard's got perhaps bigger problems to think of, because 3.2 seconds behind him, there's a stop mill. <laughs> you go stop it, and you... Any other battles going on right now? Uh, yeah, James Butler and Andy Blade are having a really good fight that's uh, it's been a bit underreported, if I may say, over ninth place. 93rd place. Indeed, indeed. I'm really hoping that Race Room adds a lot more of these GT4 cars, because the, the weird thing is GT4s are really taking off in real life. Like, there's, there's some very notable GT4 series now. 
And uh, the irony is that none of the actual GT4 cars are in the game. That would be a marketing problem. Because you don't really see KTMs or Lotuses or, or Porsches really in GT4 series. You see Audis and BMWs. And an actually really nice looking Camaro. If that doesn't shock the living hell out of you, it doesn't look like a boat for a change. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, Mercedes has got one there. You know, the, the regular uh, GT makers, really. And uh, when they brought the GT4s in, I was really surprised at the kind of limited selection that they brought in. But uh, hopefully that will improve over time. I agree. I might get... I might um, be getting a beak again by Evgeny in, in Discord. We, we completely um, lost that Sean Kenny apparently went off the track at some point and is now back in fifth place. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> he's very excitable. So, yeah, and Travis has gone off because a man catching him at rapid rate is Evgeny Lazarenko. Oh he is God. all over the back. Travis has thrown it all away. What are you doing, Travis? What does He threw Travis away seven and a half seconds. He must have spun like a motherfucker. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yevgeny is now on the verge of a potential victory here. And well, what, are you, what is Yevgeny going to beat off against you? Two minute warning, Travis Wallace. With two minutes left, he's going to warn himself not to win that easy. Uh, Yevgeny posted a link to, uh, I think it's a trailer for the new Porsche Taycan. The, I guess it's an electric car. Mm -hmm. uh, so I posted a gift for the 2K. Ah. Uh -huh. Let's find out if Evgeny can make. Evgeny is in a little bit of a belligerent mood because he uh, he was getting a little belligerent about the Mustang last night. Mm -hmm. All right, well, <laughs> I saw that. you know, so, stuff was like, I don't understand why you're angry. You want to drive it, drive it. <laughs> oh, the Roche, Hello, Richard DeRoche off the track. Sean Kenny got through, but so did Mike Stopbill. He got both of them. Stopbill the fourth. He's got one minute to climb onto the podium. Safety's off, Can he get there? It's Azar Alamori that stands between Stopbill and the podium, and it's uh, it's about three seconds, two and a half seconds. I don't know if he can do it. I'm sure he could. Although Travis keeps time. driving this slow, I did everybody's going to get in for a Yeah, minute. Travis is definitely struggling right now after, uh, for a long time, they're really pushing out the lead. I don't know what the problem is. Maybe maybe a gas problem, maybe damage to the car, I don't know. Now he's pulling away. He's, he's definitely got a gas problem, but that has nothing well, to do with the game. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the game. Oh, uh, well, we're going to get one more lap because Travis is coming across the line, and there is still time on the clock. Time on the clock. All right, two, and I are gonna watch, uh, two, all out. ah, excellent, yes, uh, to set the, uh, the, the scale here for the last lap, uh, as Sean Kenny is looking to possibly make a move on Richard DeRoche, it is Travis Wallace, Yevgeny Lazarenko, Azar Alamori, Mike Stoffmill, Richard DeRoche, Sean Kenny, Jesse Hampton, Shannon Flynn, Andy Blade, and, uh, Tino, Ka Tino Konetsky is up into 10th place, so congratulations, Tino. Igor Kutstutsov. Doing a great doing a great job there as uh, James Butler looks to have had a problem at some point and pissed away a top ten. Sean Kenny go down the inside hard on Richard DeRoche. Oh, 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 surely. And Sean Kenny takes Grande Hicardo for fifth place. Well played. Or does it? Grande Hicardo got it right back. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Sean Kenny, what are you doing? I'm angry. What are well, you doing? Well, you see here, he used all his gas left to try to make that one move. That he's one left. turn left can stop Mill. Get the job done. The answer is no. Your winner is Travis Wallace from Evgeny Lazarenko and Azar Alamore. Despite two spins, Mike Stopmill still finishes in fourth place. Well done. God damn it. Here comes Shannon Flynn across the line in eighth position with Jesse Hampton ahead of him. They had a pretty decent battle throughout. Uh, this is James Butler in the... Oh, well, that would probably explain why James Butler lost some positions. He is... I mean, I don't he know is, why. He is sans the bonnet. He's clearly improved his livery and saved a lot of weight. So, what's the problem? <laughs> he will finish in behind uh, Tino, K Tino Kaznetsky. Uh, pretty good running, actually, for John Picha. A little shout-out to, to Johnny P with the 12th position finish and uh, not too far off the pace. GT4 seem to suit him. And there's Michael Magus uh, enjoying the uh, semi-beaches of, uh, of the track. 
Did you have to take a poop? Uh, you might have had to take a significant dump. And, uh, uh, is going to finish on the lead lap, though, but not by much. Travis Wallace was right behind. So there is your results from, uh, hopefully I'll get a reminder of what race this was, or what track this is again, It's the Swedish Hogtide. <laughs> Anyways, Travis Wallace is your winner. From Evgeny Lazarenko, Azar Alamore, Mike Stoffel, Championship Leader, Richard Roche, Sean Kenny, Jesse Hampton, Shannon Flynn, Andy Blade, Tino Kozniewski, James Butler, John Picha, Michael Magus, Did you, and Do you then, see how close the lap speed between Wall Hacks and your boy Stoffmeal is? Ridiculously close. In fact, Travis Wall's fastest lap by two hundredths of a second. My god, man. Indeed. Very solid work by the Porsche driver getting a little revenge for some weak showings at Nutstorp. Nutstrap. You got and, Igor uh, cuts nuts off and Nutstrap and the Swedish hog tag. Like, what the hell's going on with these things? <laughs> it's getting kinky. Uh, anyways, we uh, we will be back at you with commentary for the WTCR race in a moment. I don't know if you're going to watch that after this one, but uh, it's going to get recorded afterwards. Yeah. <laughs>